Monova A stately town with an industrial tradition. Monova is one of those towns that stands out for its characteristic silhouette. Two hills dominate the city. On one, half in ruin, the once mighty castle retains part of the lookout tower still standing guard. On the other hill, the hermitage of Santa Barbara overlooks the town from its entrance atrium with three semicircular arches that support a belfry. This magnificent entrance scarcely conceals the great blue tiled dome that covers this typical example of Valencian Baroque. The third characteristic element of the profile of Monova is the clock tower. A tower more than 18 meters high, erected at the end of a steep street, marks the time for the neighbors with its bells. At the foot of these contours which make up the landscape of the town, Monova offers many unique buildings. Of course, La Iglesia Arciprestal de San Juan Bautista is one of them. An example of the Baroque, of its two outer towers, one remains unfinished. Inside, it houses one of the most unique organs in the region. This instrument, originating from the 18th century, was the first organ in the Valencian community that operated with a pedal. The chronicles tell us that during the Civil War, the metal pipes of the Baroque organ were used for the manufacture of spare parts and parts intended for aviation. Another great religious building is the convent church of Los Capuchinos. The rich industrial past of the town, which changed from textile production to leather goods and footwear, allowed the emergence of a powerful bourgeoisie who erected beautiful buildings in the municipality. One just needs to stroll slowly through Monova to discover stately homes in the vicinity. It's town hall in La Plaza de la Sala. The impressive casino. and the no less important Colegio Cervantes, situated in what was once a hospital, stand out. La Casa de los Tortosa, with its characteristic square tower, contrasts with La Casa de las Bolas, which finishes off its corner with a beautiful circular tower. The bull ring, which hails from 1911, had a capacity for 5,000 people. Other artistic manifestations took place in the sumptuous Teatro Principal. And if we talk of culture, we cannot ignore La Casa Museo Atherin, a distinguished author and native of this town.
In the sports sector, Imanova, a variant of the Valencian ball game called Galocheta emerged. This is played in a kind of court, also called Galocheta. In the municipality, we can find up to 10 of these unique sports courts. Its large municipal area means that many districts and hamlets form the neighborhood of Monova, Casas del Señor, Chinoled, La Romaneta. In one of these districts, El Ondon, stood an old airfield that was used by Negrin and La Passionaria to flee from the war in Spain. A shelter and a pine known as El Arbol de la Passionaria remain as silent witnesses to this chapter of our history. Around Monova, agriculture dominates the landscape. Olive trees, almond trees, and especially vineyards are spread over the high plateau. Vines from which sprout grapes with character, with personality. We must not forget that we are in the land of winemakers. Lands where excellent wines have always been produced. And amongst them, the famous Fondillon, 